So hey guys, um, obviously following on with uh, Photokina, um, we are here with Andrew Reed from Panasonic. Uh, Hi. Andrew is uh, absolutely bursting with information and he's going to like let us in on some kind of new developments and so, some cameras and maybe a bit of background information on what's coming. Um, mm. What he can and can't say, I won't say, I'll leave that to him. So Andrew, I can't remember what I can and can't say <laughs> is, is the problem I think these days. <laughs> Um, what do, we, do you want to start with what's coming or what we've got here? I mean, where um, do you want to start with? Should we start with what's coming and then get into the, cool. the, uh, the nitty gritty? So, um, last night at Photokina there was an announcement that I think there's a lot of people already uh, filling up our email boxes with many more, many more questions. Um, we announced development of the GH5. Now that is development, it's not, um, it's coming immediately, it is in development, we're working on it. There is still like, you know, we announced three or four key specs and that's it. Um, there is a lot more to unpack out of that. Um, when we announce the actual product at a later date, which I can't say, uh, and likewise price, cannot say. Um, what we can say is it's the first interchangeable lens camera to shoot 4K at 60 frames, or uh, well 50, 60 frames, which is fantastic. We've had yeah. customers coming out of the woodwork asking for that for a long time. Yeah, GH4, 160 frames. Um, it's coming. Um, we also announced that it will do 4 2, 2 10 bit at up to 30 frames internally. Uh, so up until now, one of the things, if, one of the highlights of the GH4 was we could do that with an external recorder via right. HDMI. Right. Um, but, you know, for pit customers throwing that on to drones or throwing it on to um, handheld how gimbals, that was a bit of a nightmare because you either had cables and an offset um, and the recorder elsewhere, we had to put it on the camera and it just made everything more complicated. Exactly. We can now do that in turn um, uh, uh, yeah, and the new model coming. Cool. Um, we also announced 6K photo. Yes. Uh, which is a cool new feature. Um, so that's using the same technology as our 4K photo mode, which is um, also present, uh, present in the camera, and it will do that at 60 frames, and 6K photo will be 30 frames. Essentially, it's using um, video um, looping, mm. so video recording, um, to capture an 18 megapixel image um, in 3x3 three three or 4x3 um, oh, right. that you can then extract out and print. And that's about A1 print. Um, right. Which is pretty cool. Yeah. So it, it is. A st it's using video technology to give a really uh, powerful still uh, mode. And the major benefit of that is um, not just the speed of capture, but also the length you can do it for. It's as long as the camera can record video for, yeah. as opposed to um, you know, standard. We start talking about buffer speeds of 40, 50, 100 frames, whatever. We, you know, yeah. Yeah. That's you know, and at, at that sort of frame rate, seconds. Um, whereas with 4K photo mode and 6K photo mode. Yeah, you're talking minutes um, or even hours in some cases, uh, depending on the size of the card and the size of the battery, basically, which is pretty cool. Wow. Um, other than that, that's that's really all that's been announced yeah, um, yeah. Um, out of the GH5, uh, and you know there'll be more as time goes on. Um, on top of that, we announced there's three new lenses in development, um, all Leica branded um, from our what, what they're now calling the 2.8 to 4 range, f4 range. Yep. Um, there'll be a 8 to 18. A 12 to 60 and a 50 to 200 mil, uh, and those will be releasing, uh, you know, or developed and releasing when they're ready um, over the next um, coming couple of years, which is really really cool. Awesome, awesome, um, cool. But that's all a fair way away. Yeah, so, so we can't talk release dates at this point in time. Don't no no, it's still in development. Yeah, yeah. The, you know, there yeah. is um, very clever engineers still um, <laughs> refining and adding new things to it. Yep. So yeah, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah it, it is a work in progress, um, and when we have a final time, we'll yeah awesome. obviously. Um, shout to the rooftop about that. Yeah, yeah, um, sounds good. good. But um, before Christmas, we do have three great new products coming, which is, yeah, I think, yeah. um, I'll, I'll, I, and I have three of them in the country, which is great. <laughs> um, this only arrived yesterday afternoon, so um, very, very fresh off um, the boat, or plane in this case, All right. um, which is great. <laughs> Almost. Um, <laughs> Do we, um, what do you want to start with first? With, with um, the, with the oh, seeing as we're talking about the GH, um, let's move on to keep with the mirrorless. Um, our latest addition to our mirrorless range, um, coming actually next month, is the G85. Um, so it's a um, it's got the 85 name in it, so it does share some similarities with the GX85 yeah. that's currently in the market, uh, but it also um, has some significant differences as well. Um, the first is obviously in its look. It's um, more DSLR shape um, as opposed to the rangefinder style shape, so right. the viewfinder is in line with um, the lens, which is really nice, great for um, for shooting and more, more comfortable. 
uh, comfortable, particularly with tracking. Yeah, yeah. It is a bigger viewfinder as well. Uh, so when you compare it to, say, the G7 that it um, sort of surpasses, um, it's a 0.74 magnification oh. uh, as opposed to 0.7. Yeah. Um, a lot of other cameras in the market are sitting at around that 0.5. So it is a really nice big viewfinder, particularly yeah. in, that, in that price point. Um, obviously, the other big difference is that grip, um, which is really yeah, nice. It, it sits in the hand brilliantly. It really nice, actually. Um, Feels good too, this. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, particularly target at those that actually want to f yeah. you know, shoot stills more often or use big lenses. So this is um, our 12 to 60 weather sealed lens on it, um, but you know you throw 100 or 400 mil Leica on there yeah. and you've got a really nice stable system and you've got a really good firm grip for the, the slightly bigger lenses that are still quite small yeah, for micro yeah, four yeah. thirds. <laughs> um, the reason why the 12 to 60 uh, is sitting on it, um, this is our weather sealed kit lens is the body's weather sealed. It also has a front magnesium alloy body. Um, so that's another big difference from the uh, GX85 is um, is that weather sealing, so it is nice. a go anywhere camera. You know, you can take it about, get it wet, uh, knock it around, and um, and it'll hold up to it. Um, plus a, a flip out free angle LCD, which is um, great for still shooters or low angle shooting, which is really nice. And so it's quite a series of kit lens too, isn't it? It's yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, the 1260 is great. So uh, it's a 24 to 120 mil, uh, yeah. 3.5 to 4. Yeah. Um, Sorry, 3.4 to 5.6, yeah, um, I'll be correct. Yeah. Weather sealed. And the other thing is at 120 mil, it's got a 20 centimetre focus. So it's just you've got a semi macro built in. You don't oh, have wow. to flick a macro switch or anything. Just take it to full zoom and go up close and is it'll focus, right? oh, which cool. is really, really oh, nice, awesome. um, yeah, yeah. which is great. Yeah. Um, the major improvements other than body, I'm um, oh, sorry, SD card connection on the side of the camera oh, as opposed to the battery terminal, which has got a couple of people getting really, really excited. <laughs> um, but the major point that makes this um, a real upgrade is the resolution performance. Yeah, um, yeah. And it's, uh, I'm going to talk in effective resolution, not actual megapixels, because megapixels to a degree are fairly yeah. irrelevant. And some yeah. of the changes here um, mean you are going to get a sharper photo than we've got out of any camera so far yeah. um, from our series, even though it is only running a 16 meg chip. And that's for several reasons. Um, the first one is, it's the same 16 meg chip without the anti-aliasing filter as the GX85. Right, right. So that's great. So it's going to give, you know, on tripod, camera side by side, everything else fixed, it's going to give basically the same resolution as, the, as that. Yeah. That's not far off the 20 meg from the GX8. Right. Um, it's actually very, very close. It's a, you're getting to really, really fine differences yeah, in image yeah. quality. But the actual effective resolution is going to be higher. Um, by having a front magnesium panel yeah. uh, and also the, the shutter mechanism from the GX85 yeah. uh, as well, which is uh, electromagnetically fired, it's oh, yeah. fi um, the vibration reduction is about 90% compared to that of the G7. Oh, wow. So okay. shutter shock is not an issue that we have to have a conversation about again. Yeah, it's, yeah. It's, it's just gone. It yeah. doesn't happen, <laughs> um, which is fantastic. And that gives you a massive bump in effective resolution over previous cameras that have had you know, a certain lens at a certain shutter speed. It might, Or you have to go to an electronic shutter. You can yeah. shoot mechanical shutter as long as you want and just not worry about it. It's not going to give you shutter shock. On top of that, it's got a brand new image stabilisation system in it. So it's 5-axis body stabilisation like the GX85. Yeah, yeah. Um, and it does what we call dual IS like the GX85 as well, in which that is using the body stabilisation and the lens stabilisation together. Oh, wow. okay. The big difference, though, is this camera has got a brand new accelerometer built into it, okay. um, which means that when using lenses that are compatible and have been firmware updated, um, the vast majority of our lenses will be compatible. There are some that unfortunately can't do it, yeah, but yeah. Um, that'll be expanded at a later date. Yep. Um, when using compatible lenses, we can use dual AS2, uh, which means it's using the internal accelerometer. Yeah. Um, now the claim is that's five stops of um, stabilisation at 280 mil. Oh um, so it's about a stop better performance than what the GX85's got. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so it is more stable, it's got less vibration, um, and it's got the same effect, uh, you know, same resolution sensor. So the actual effective out of camera resolution photos you can get are sharper than I think we've ever seen out of any of our cameras to date, which is great. Um, plus, in a nicer, bigger grip, so easier to hold still, exactly, um, yeah. a slightly bigger battery, bigger viewfinder, free angle LCD. So a lot more versatile shooter yeah, um, yeah. and for those that need really really long battery life or like to shoot portrait there is a weather seal grip coming that gives you your controls so oh, um, yeah. that just goes on to the bottom if you want to make it if if your mirrorless camera is too small um, you can screw that on um, yeah. and that gives the standard sort of extra battery now the grip actually comes with a battery in the box as well which is nice you're not having oh, to buy right. the extra battery yeah, yeah. but it gives you that um, shooting in portrait. Oh, nice, yeah. As well as landscape, and you know, obviously doubles your battery life for those that that feel that need. Yeah, yeah. Um, um, that is also 
available, which what, is nice. What, what are we talking about um, battery life, just uh, standard without the, the grip? It's rated 330, um, but one reviewer that was testing, I was reading the article this morning, said he's got over 400 out of a charge. Oh, far out. So, um, okay. Yeah, it depends on how heavy you use it, obviously, and, exactly, and what yeah. you're doing in between. Right. But yeah. um, battery life, it's using the same battery as um, the G7 and the GX8, so it's, oh, cool. an, uh, it's the BLC12, which is a nice big battery. Oh, so nice, it's compatible. Yeah, it's yep. great. Awesome. Yep. Cool. Um, one final thing that we've added to it, um, there's an extra dial um, on the shutter, on, on your mode dial. So you've got your standard drive, burst, 4K photo, which we've had for a while, mm. um, and also post focus has been added to the dial as well. Oh, brilliant. Um, cool. Now there's a brand new feature in post focus as well. So post focus is the camera's ability to again use the video technology um, to, to focus ramp. Uh, basically capture our, um, roll through the fo um, through your focus and let you choose your focus afterwards. That's right, yeah. Um, which is really, really cool. Um, the clever part it can now do is actually focus stack and camera. Oh, far out. Okay, well, so just select, you, you know, you yeah. take your photo and then go into focus stacking and just basically touch the parts of the screen that you want to have yeah, in focus yeah. and it will stack them all together really nice and easily for you in camera. Um, obviously for those that want to do it at full resolution or raw and, and post, the camera does have focus bracket as well as yeah. exposure yeah. bracket and aperture bracketing and um, white balance bracketing yeah. as well. So, just another um, picture to make it easier if you want. Making yeah. it really easy yeah. out of camera and that's an 8 megapixel still which is you know, an A3 print um, and Easily, you know, yeah, yeah. That's, that's fine which is great. So. Oh. Brilliant. Cool, so um, ETA, you, you say about October? Uh, October you'll be yeah. late October, um, yeah, yeah. and body pricing will be, it'll be about $1,500 in the market, uh, oh, and yeah. obviously kits from there, so depending on what kit lens you want to put on yeah, it, yeah, yeah. Um, this would be about $1,800 with a 12 to 16 mm. as a kit, um, uh, as, a, as a starting indication, yeah. Cool, man, awesome. Oh, that sounds good. Righty-ho, so what about this beast here? Do you want to go to the beast or the baby? Um, <laughs> we're doing both at the same time, yeah, I yeah. guess. Yeah, yeah. So. Uh, the similarities, um, they're both black, um, no, um, they both share a 20 megapixel one inch sensor. Yeah. Oh, right. right. Um, so so the, it's further expanding our one inch sensor line, um, one's an LX, one's an FZ. They don't replace anything, they are yeah. um, purely both upgrades. Um, we'll start at the big one first. Mm -hmm. um, I'm quite excited about this actually, this is this is probably the camera that I would have taken on holiday with me almost, um, instead of carrying about five lenses, because um, I was chasing after children for <laughs> half the time. Um, what was the, what's the zoom on that? Cliff notes of it, sorry, uh, it's... Um, a 24 to 480, so oh. 20 times optical zoom, yeah, yeah. Um, over a 2.8 to 4.5, top of my head? Yes, oh, 2.8 right. to 4.5. Um, sorry, I just received this yesterday, so still still remembering <laughs> a bit on it. Um, it's, it's quite it's cool. So one of the things it does that's really unique is um, it's all internally focusing. So once you turn it on, it extends, but that's it. Like through your whole zoom, I'm changing the f zoom right now through its range. Mm. Um, it's all internally zoomed. So you, the balance of the camera is going to stay exactly the same the whole time. It's not going to get heavier as you zoom or, or lower, which yeah. is which yeah. is really really nice. Um, makes it also very easy if you were wanting to put it onto a matte box or something, for exactly, example, because yeah. it, it does have some very strong video features. Um, other than um, its range of zoom, um, other things that make it really stand out is on the side um, we've got um, two manual control rings, so one can be zoom and focus for example. Mm. Um, three function buttons, so at the moment they're assigned to slow zoom and zo slow zoom in and slow zoom out um, mm -hmm. as two of the key ones. Yeah. Um, but the other one is the switch, it's got built in ND filters, yes. so it's got four, four awesome. settings and an auto. That works in still as well, so instead of having to screw an ND filter on, you can flick it on and, yeah. and do a long, to um, a long exposure. Um, or for video, it makes it really nice and easy to keep you know, your 2.8 and a... And a um, yeah in a bright environment, which is really, really nice. Exactly, yeah. Um, control dial on the back, um, actually dual control dial, so one at the finger, one at the thumb, and shooting and zoom as well. So, looking like a really, really nice camera. Mm. Um, unpacking it, it's got some really clever features. Again, flip out our city screen. Um, comparing it to the FZ1000, it is a touch screen uh, oh, right. and high resolution, so it's a 1.04 megapixel viewfinder as opposed to the 940 wow. um, and touchscreen as well which is really really nice. Mm. Um, manual control modes as well for video <clears throat> um, so this will do variable frame rate at yep. to 120 frames a second in full HD cool. um, and obviously it'll do 4k at up to 30 frames yeah. um, and like the GX80 sorry the G85 it's actually 24 25 or 30 frame selectable oh, which is really really yeah, nice. Yeah. So in terms of the f um, frame rates um, it, it is very much um, um, like a baby GH4, it's yeah. like a GH4 with a one inch sensor and 20 right. times zoom. Right, right. Um, it'll do full HD at 100 megabit, uh, sorry, at 200 megabits 
intraframe, oh, um, yeah, yeah. which is great. So it can do that really, really high quality full HD, yeah. or it can do your 4K at 100 megabits as well. Yeah. On top of that, um, you can upgrade uh, the camera by installing a log profile on it, oh, um, using oh. the same log profile um, upgrade kit yeah. as the GH4. So um, right, right. that simple code uh, will unlock an extra couple stops of dynamic range. Oh, so it, it is really targeted as a, as a filmmaker's camera. Yeah, um, yeah. He, hence the reason why it's got mic and headphone jacks on the side of the camera yeah, so you can yeah. monitor and um, put a proper mic on it as well, um, which is really, really nice. Yeah. But also a stills, can, like you know, going on Safari or something, if, you know, there's this been this slew of 60 to 80 time zoom cheap super zoom cameras, which yeah. um, all onto a half-front sensor with average image Quality. Um, but we're starting to see more and more um, big zoom cameras coming out um, and this is a, just you know keeping that um, big big zoom uh, to a degree of 20 times but onto a one inch sensor it's going to give much better quality image right, so right. Yeah, uh, for yeah. those that don't want to change lenses and want just like one camera that does everything exactly, I think it's, yeah, it's, yeah. it's a great yeah. it's a great option um, and, a, and a really powerful looking camera. Fantastic. Nice lens tip for. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> And sitting alongside that is the smallest zoom camera. So we've gone biggest zoom one inch and smallest zoom one inch for Panasonic. Yeah. So sitting in the middle, there's a 10 times and a 16 times. Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> so um, this is a 24 to 72 mil effective Leica lens on yeah. the front um, onto a one inch sensor. What makes it unique is at one, it's a 1.4 to 2.8. Uh, so most of the competitors in the market are around that 2.8. Um, so at f1.4, it's yeah. a bit brighter. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so it is also the brightest um, one inch sensor camera we have in the market as well. Mm. Um, uh, it does share a lot of similarity to the LX100 that we have in our range. That's actually a four thirds of an inch sensor okay. um, at an effective 12 megapixel. Yep. This is yep. a one inch sensor um, at 20 megapixels, so slightly smaller sensor, slightly higher resolution, yep. uh, both shooting f1.4. Um, you get that manual aperture ring that you got off the um, LX100, which is also unique for, for a one inch sensor camera, yeah. and still keeping a manual control dial on the front. Oh, wow. Still shoots 4K internally into the camera, which yeah. is really, really nice. Um, and you get a, a flip up um, LCD screen. So for those that want to take their selfies, <laughs> um, selfie, selfie you, can, enabled, yeah. you can shoot a beautiful portrait selfie at f1.4 <laughs> uh, and, and push the background out of focus, um, uh, um, which, is, which is really, really nice. So like, mm. it's, a, it's a pocketable shooter. Um, yeah, I think if you looked yeah. in the same price bracket from us um, and, and zoom range, you've essentially you could have um, a pocketable 10 times at f2.8, um, or you can have a pocketable um, you know, about three times at f1.4, yeah. um, or you can have the LX100, which gives you a viewfinder um, Slightly larger sensor, but uh, loses that pocket ability yeah. you know, in terms of it's got yeah. more manual control dials. It's more of a tactile camera. Yep. Um, this is this is the more portable version. So um, right, right. really quite a nice looking little camera, actually yeah, great yeah. for sort of um, out on the street style shooting and, and, and not being noticed. Did, um, and do we do have an ETA on this on this day? Or? These are both about end of November. Um, yeah. ETA is still a little bit tentative. That one inch sensor supply is, is still yeah. being. Um, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. Uh, we're still feeling the ramifications of earthquakes in April. So they're both due about the same time, uh, and yeah. we're looking at around about 11.50 for that, uh, and two thousand dollars for um, the FZ 2500. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, they kind of round out the range for, for Christmas, which will um, will be nice. Yeah, yeah. yeah good timing. Yeah. <laughs> oh, and touchscreen as well. So everything from us with touchscreen oh, and 4K, yeah, um, yeah, yeah. which sort of two two key parts. Brilliant, brilliant. Awesome. I oh, know that's great, Andrew. Hey, thanks for bringing all these. I was going to say toys, but they're not. They're, 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 work they're proper work tools. They are, they're <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, great range, and um, yeah, um, a pleasure as always. I like having you in. So yeah, cheers. Thank Have you very much. See you. Cheers. See you soon. Cool. Now we've got to do the obligatory close-ups in your hands. <laughs> <laughs> I did lots of that.